Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. If there's anything the two of us know in our bodies is that touch changes everything. So when we touch each other, whether it's on a massage table or or some intentional touch circles or we're doing Reiki or whatever it is, touch can change everything. Yes. And I don't know about you, but in 2017, I think we might need a lot of touch. I think we'll need extra touch. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a bunch of events coming yes. up. Just in January. We're just, just getting just getting started yeah yeah so like a massage basics and a massage study group and a massage exchange and then we're gonna do some vi visioning with our beloved uh, Drake Bear Stevens uh -huh. and then we're gonna do our, a Reiki level one and body story class mm -hmm. where we teach people how to to do some healing work so tell tell some stories would oh, you for about Reiki yeah about well just touch or, or, oh, or yes. Reiki well, it's, it's a very profound uh, practice, and um, it's, it's really an opening not just for the person you're working on, but also for yourself. So um, I've uh, given Reiki in hospice before, and I, I remember I was assigned to one person in his house and, uh, mm. and uh, was very moved to, uh, to touch his head. He had uh, brain cancer. He was in the last stage of brain cancer, mm. and I was, I was just very directed to, to work on his head, and it was a very profound experience to put my hands on his head. I mean, there was no physical representation of the, of the disease. There was nothing to see, honestly, but it was just very profound. And I remember feeling a lightness and it was very moving for him to be touched where his disease was. Yeah, yeah. It helped him feel uh, more peaceful. Yeah. So whether it's kind of healing mm -hmm. into life or mm -hmm. death in this body, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Reiki and body story work, and, and certainly all the massage stuff mm -hmm. brings us back home. Because mm -hmm. I don't know about everybody listening, but you know, I, every once in a while I want to check out and kind of mm -hmm. leave my body because mm -hmm. the world seems pretty insane. Yeah. So coming back home to these bodies, mm -hmm. to to pleasure and remembering that. So the massage stuff will give a lot of skills, a lot of training, a lot of ways to build community and and in ways that, you know, gay men just yeah, just intuitively kind of fall into yeah. so in safe and sacred space. So we mm -hmm. want to do all that. But the 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 Reiki thing I want to keep plugging mm -hmm. too. So you know I, I I remember a time when uh, we did some some Reiki for someone who uh, had just gotten a, a mammogram and had shadows, uh, and uh, in in doing the the Reiki, the the shadows went away, mm -hmm. uh, so that it, it would appear that whatever was was um, growing had had dissolved away. So sometimes it's really magical. Sometimes it's just a really gradual kind of support and if nothing else it's kind of whether it's massage or Reiki or body story work people really know that they're not alone yes and my sense in January in 2017 and, and, and kind of in the future for us we really need to know we're not alone and we'll never be alone yes so with all of that said let's say goodbye goodbye all right namaste